Hey guys, what's up? This episode is brought to you by Comic Blitz, so stay tuned. At the end of the episode, we'll give you a promo code so you can get some dollars off on your very first subscription to Comic Blitz. It's great. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, one of your hosts out of three. I'm one of three. And the other two guys with me next to me over here. See them right there? Yeah, that's Jesse Hello. and Mike. How you doing? Guys, welcome back to another Favorites episode. We're doing another Walking Dead Favorites episode. And this time, it's Jesse's turn. So he's here to tell you what favorite episode he yes. has. As you can see down below, uh, my favorite episode is Nebraska. I previously misspoke on that. Uh, I used to say Nebraska was probably my second favorite, but I was thinking of the episode after Nebraska. Oh, shit. So Nebraska is definitely my favorite 100%, like, no doubt, for the current moment. Yeah, until next week. Yeah, until next week. <laughs> then it's going to be episode Then you seven. watch something else and you're like, oh, shit, this episode was freaking fantastic. This yeah. is my yeah. new favorite. No, um... <laughs> <laughs> Nebraska is a perfect episode in all sense, actually, because we start off with uh, with Rick in his aftermath of the barn slaughter, where he's standing over the now double dead Sophia. Double dead? Let, let's, double let's, dead. let's start calling him double dead. How about uh, uh, fully dead? Fully dead? Fully yeah, dead, yeah. I like double dead better. <laughs> but uh, we get the whole scene there where Herschel's like, no, no, can't be, can't be. And then he takes off. Tells him, get off his farm. I mean it. All that. And it's just, it's above the par for acting for the earlier seasons. Mm-hmm. It, it just felt like a good episode from the get-go. And up until the end, it held that. From Maggie saying, I love you to Glenn, to Lori flipping the car and hopefully being dead. <laughs> <laughs> That that was a big part in it, yeah. to um to Daryl, coming into his own and saying, you know what, I'm nobody's errand boy, I am Daryl. And I think this episode is what made a lot of people fall in love with Daryl. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, well, look at how he where he was, you know, compared to where everybody else was staying. You know, yeah. he yeah. was in like He's the stone past. kind of foundation of this. There was no, not even walls in this little area that he was camping out in, you know? Yeah. And uh, we, we get to one of the favorite scenes, and I, I skipped over, like, the whole thing with Dale and them, because that, that was not as important to me. What was really important to me was the bar scene. Rick talking man-to-man with Herschel, and it, it just clicked as why this is my favorite episode. I yeah. thought about it long and hard, and every time I did, it came back that scene in the bar and it starts off Herschel here to take you back. Who's with you? Yeah. Glenn. Maggie, yeah. tell him to come. <laughs> he volunteered. Yeah. And you, you just get the sense that everybody in this show clicked when, when acting it. And mm-hmm. that's what that whole bar scene did for me. Yeah. From the entrance to the shooting of Dave and Tony. <laughs> but uh what were your guys favorite scenes in this episode i mean i i i myself i was actually going word for word with you with the whole entrance of the bar because i felt that was a big that was a big um uh like you said it was it was it was the respect that herschel is almost like gave glenn just by that but just what what, what you said I love that. I mean, I love how Rick took charge. You knew something was going down with these guys. Um, overall, yeah, when you chose this episode, I was glad to rewatch it again. Um, yeah. Because, like, you know, because like mm-hmm. you, I mean, I've watched these episodes before and I've watched these episodes several times, but you don't, it's so much to remember, you know? Yeah, you never page, sit back yeah. and just watch it. Exactly. Women. Yeah. I have a page, two pages of, of quotes and things that I just, wrote down after watching uh, you know parts of the episode that i just thought were, were pivotal um yeah. so yeah for me i think that was a great that was a you know a favorite scene like you say is is just when they enter 
the bar just like uh, just like you said yeah now uh, what about you there chris um I, you know, I'll start by saying that I, I, I probably didn't give this season enough credit. I always said this was the worst season of The Walking Dead because <laughs> watching, rewatching this, I realized so maybe the first half of this of the beginning half of the season was it was a drawn out season. They, they, yeah, and 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 I always said, look, you gotta have to have you have to have those those seasons where there's character development because in season one there wasn't really much character development. It was just introduction yeah. to all the characters, the world, the universe, everything going on. Season two, you have to develop the characters, right? Mm -hmm. um i will say that in this episode i was like i was like damn this really was a good episode like i i went into it cold not remembering what happened in the previous episode vaguely remembering what happens towards the end of the season so this yeah. episode opens up and rick's standing there with the gun over over sophia's dead body and i'm like oh shit i completely forgot that's what this fucking episode was yeah. um not my favorite scene though my favorite scene or scenes really were Shane. Like Shane was to me was one of the highlights yeah. of this because mm -hmm. we all know Shane doesn't make it through this to the end of the season. He makes it to the end of the season really, but then he, and then he's at, he's done. But at, this episode was like, damn it. And now, now I, I have like a really, I have this affinity for Shane because I think he is one of the, one of the greatest characters. And even while, while watching the show, when it was on, that this season i was like damn that he's such a fucking shitbag this guy you know he's like a he's actor, a monster though, he's yeah. Yeah. Not, again not saying yeah. that you know and yeah. and and years later now now i've met john bernthal at comic-con took a picture with him i was at his panel where he talked about being on daredevil as punisher and stuff and like fucking this guy's awesome and i've known this guy not known him but i've seen him <laughs> from like one of the first things that he's done and i've kind of been following his career you yeah. know and I've always thought this dude was like a really cool fucking actor in like the roles that he chose. And just watching Shane again, it's just the tension that he brings to everybody. Like he's one of those guys where yeah. it's like, what the fuck is this guy gonna do now? Like no one can rest, well, no one can be He's yeah. a wild card. No one can write, no one can be peaceful. Too. Remember and what Andrea says yeah. to him. Like, dude, it's it's not that you are wrong, it's how you say things. Right. You know and, what I mean? And that's, but that's the best part, you know. He's yeah. fight, he picks a fight with everyone, and, and all right. So, mm -hmm. if I, you know what? You know what? One of my favorite scenes was. I'll go ahead and say, when he's going to pick, he's like, "I'm gonna get, I'll get the truck." He's like, "We need, we need the truck." He's like, "I'll go get it." And he goes there, and Dale is standing there. Yeah, you got and something to like, say. He's like, Dale? "What, Dale? What? What the yeah. fuck? You have something yeah. to fucking?" He's like, "You have something to say to me?" Yeah. He's like, "Ah," gets in the truck, and he looks in the rear view. Well, we and need Dale's a radiator just, hose. I'll come and. <laughs> yeah, he's just, but he's just staring. He's yeah. just sitting there, and he looks at him in the rear view. And Dale's yeah. just standing there staring at him. And he gets out of the truck again. No, he opens the door and he's sitting in there and he's and he explains yeah. shit. And yeah. he's like, I'm the only one that did this. Not Rick. What do you do for not the you. group? Yeah. Nobody. Yeah, what do you do? Yeah. And it was just like that was just fucking great. Oh, it was I was great. like, fuck yeah. man. You know, like it was so mm -hmm. and you and and he's right. But at the same time, like you said, Mike, it's, I mean, a, different way. it's a way yeah. he exactly. did it. That's what yeah. I was. That's what I wrote too, because I just want to get this in quick. This is, for me, this is the beginning of Shane's betrayal to Rick. This yeah. is really the, you know, just that 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 double crossing and that you know you you know how many times do we hear Rick uh, Shane after this say, I don't think you're a man. I don't think you can handle this. I don't think you can handle this group. I don't think you can protect your family. This is the 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 beginning of the end with with shane and yeah. like you said about dale too um dale says you know i knew guys like him i knew i knew i think that shane sacrificed otis right and he, he was exactly that, she's right. like what are you trying to say to me he's like say what you're yeah. saying right now say what you want to and, say to me and, and he's like and, yeah and you know he was saying you know and i think he was saying that to andrea no it was it was dale? Uh, it was Lori. It was Lori he said yeah. it to? Yeah. Which All is right, why but, she didn't hear him the first time because it's full of queer girl. That's right. That's right. That's right. And then Lori disagreed and said, no, I don't think Shane would do that. You know, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, this was the beginning to a lot of that. You know, this was, a, a, um, like you said, Chris, this is the development of these characters. We really saw them sitting down in one particular area of the farm, the farm se season. And we're seeing now, you know, how are you going to deal with this world? And we've talked about this so many times on our Walking Dead episodes and, and, and you know, and, and reviews about what would you do and who would you turn into? And this is a perfect example in this episode that, that Jesse chose for that, you know? You know, it's, it's crazy because 
Shane isn't necessarily wrong. It's just like we said, it goes about it the wrong way because yeah. he was yeah. the guy that was protecting the group. And then Rick comes Rick back comes and all of a sudden he's the leader. Like, you know what I mean? Like, of course he's upset. Well, you know, I like he he's upset, like, I'm the I... one. And he said it multiple times in many episodes. He's like, I'm the yeah. one that fucking kept these people out. You were fucking he's not yeah. even here. Why are you all of a sudden the people, the person that they look to? You know, I, I but then know. again, that's more charisma, personality. Yeah. yeah, like he got yeah. shit done, but not not Shane's way because, you know, uh, and Rick, Rick, it wasn't even like Rick chose this. And he said this in the future seasons. Yeah. Rick said, I didn't chose to do this. Yeah. You know, I didn't choose choose to be your leader. Rick didn't do the things up to this point to become the leader. Right. Rick no. did what he felt was right in the first season when Rick went back to look for Merle. Shane disagreed with him then. He did that because he felt it was right. Shane wouldn't have done that. Rick yeah, exactly. would because he, exactly. he had the personality. Shane lied it. about yeah. Lori in this episode after she crashed the car. You know, Shane lied to her and said, oh, yeah, Rick is back. You know what I mean? It's it, it's a whole buildup, you know, of of the, the show itself. And, it, and it's just, um, it, it shows... A million times we say it, who will you become? And Rick ended up being the one that people trusted. And who knows what would have happened um, if Shane didn't die, if Shane didn't progress in the negative like he did through jealousy of Lori and Carl and, like you said, from the beginning. Who, who knows if that didn't even, even if he eventually got that way, but say he got to that way in the fourth, fifth season, yeah. How how would things have progressed? We wouldn't have Rick. Rick. We wouldn't have yeah. Rick. That, that's this, what I'm saying. It so had to knows? happen this way. That's what's so great, dude. Yeah. That's what's so it great to about the show. Way. Absolutely, yeah. And, I'm pretty sure Shane would have got to the third season and the governor would have killed him. <laughs> or who knows? if Rick had killed left him. I don't think so. If, governor, if, you know? I mean... I mean, I that would be, that'd be something that'd be, you know, that, that might be yeah. another episode we could do. Like we could do a what yeah. if episode and just come up with That's some crazy true. shit. That could actually be a pretty fun thing. Yeah. That we, could be. Well, yeah. You know what guys, we might actually do something like that because that could actually be, be pretty fun. Yeah. No, it um, is. It's, it's, but, it, but yeah, yeah I mean, but you also get to see Shane's humanity on this episode too. Don't forget yeah. uh, him caring for Carol after she comes back from her temper tantrum. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Hey, she please. didn't even want to be there for the burial. Yeah. You know? She was in the woods ripping up the Cherokee roses, you know, with the whole the, with that whole episode and how Daryl yeah. explained the, the story about the Cherokee rose. But yeah, um, it's you know Maggie, like you said, Jesse. Maggie says to Glenn, she loves him, and there's just a lot of development. And Beth and, collapses, and, Glenn, and they need to yeah. get Glenn yep. Herschel. Shane, Glenn yeah, I mean Maggie, uh, if she knew about the walkers in the barn. And um, you even had, let's not forget about Beth. This is the beginning of Beth, really. And Beth going through her um, uh, comatose kind of state or her whatever we'd want to say where she just decided. Her angsty teen state. Yeah, angsty teen yeah her, her yeah. temper tantrum in a way where she was you know, not speaking and she was laying in the bed. And that was a reason Rick you know, told Herschel that, uh, you know, to come back. Like yeah. you know, daughter needs she, you. she's in some sort of state. She's yeah. she needs she you. Can't yeah. wake up or something like that. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. You know what so. about there was also uh this is, and I had totally forgotten about this. This was the scene where Glenn tells Rick that Maggie says Maggie how she feels about him, and he's like, "We just that's great. We just like met and we banged, and now she loves me." And I I, I don't I've never I don't know loved what to do. I've never yeah. loved anyone before. And Rick was like, "Dude, yeah. you know where what's happening, right?" He's like, "Just fucking be loved." Be loved. Just go there's with the little, fuck. Just fucking says, enjoy like, it. Little of that in the world now, or something yeah. like that. Be yeah. enjoy That's it. That's also when Glenn told Rick about sneaking the pills. He's yeah, like, yeah. I'm sorry. He's, he, on the way into the bar, he's like, Listen, I'm sorry. Like, I knew ah, about the no. pregnancy. I'm <laughs> sorry. And yeah. he's like, I don't care. He's like, You did what you thought was right at the time, and that's yeah. fine. He's I figured like, you knew. <laughs> yeah. You know. But yeah, I mean, this is this was. I was like sitting here, and on my notes, somehow I'm like, Shit, damn, a lot of things happened in this episode. You know, like just a lot yeah. of things went down. A lot of, like you said too earlier, Mike too, and you said too, Jesse, like pushing a lot of characters forward. Like Daryl, like you mentioned earlier, guys. Daryl's he's pissing. He's like, I'm not. He goes, I was out there every day. I took a fucking bullet and a fucking arrow. All yeah, right, you, yeah. being out I, there I looking. I nearly died. He yeah. called Lori olive oil. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Listen here, all of all. So yeah, you so this was. Those hey guys, two this, idiots, go go right ahead. Yeah. You know? This this season was the one where he was like seeing um his brother right, and he and he gets the ears. That yeah, was this season. Yeah. Okay. When, when he when he yeah he goes off he on his own shot, and he cuts the ears he and he gets the ear arrow, necklace yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. That's, that was this season. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, you know, I yeah, I got the episode, but after Cherokee Rose. Yeah, after Cherokee Rose is when he fell down the creek bed and all that. Maybe, okay. Looking for Sophia when that happened, right? He found the yeah, doll. Yeah, yeah. Found yeah. the doll, so, yeah. and then so maybe this was a better way back. Maybe this was, maybe, maybe I was just, maybe I was too quick. You know, because every time I look back on it, because then you go to season three and it's like, oh my God, like just an amazing season fucking. Season three was I told somewhat you, I, love this. I told you, season yeah. three to, to, to four. It, you know, again, my favorite episode was, was, you know, from season four. So it's like, I love the promos for season three. Uh, Carrie Kimmel's black in the trailers and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, that was, yeah. That was good. Yeah. But season two is where this show started hitting its stride. Mm-hmm. Well, no, where, where they really began the character development, and and, yeah. and I appreciated that shit. And then they moved it yeah. forward. So when you think when when you think back, it's like they did it. They did it pretty good. Like they 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 closed yeah. up the Shane thing. The Shane arc, pushing Rick to become Rick, and then pushing everyone out, out to where they're going to be or where, what you know, putting them on their path, like you said, you know, so like Daryl. It was even... angry comic readers who more or less made this season seem horrible because they spent, quote unquote, too much time at the farm. But in actuality, they spent enough time at the farm. I don't think it was overdone at all. At first, yeah. I, I, mean, like I, I used to. I used to think. I used to think. I, love I used to think it, it should have been only like a first two. half of the season. At first, uh, I, I did. did. I didn't, Not I gonna mean, lie. But... I, I like I told you guys a million times. My one of my favorite scenes of season two is the end after Carl kills Shane, and and the, you see these these walkers, very Night of the Living Dead esque, and you see these these the woods, yeah. walkers coming from the from the woods and. Yeah. You know, and the destruction and and the realization for Herschel that he needs to leave and, and that this place is is no longer a safe haven. You so know? Get, so, the so the greens, this. yeah, the, the greens, too. Like it, it really yeah. they were all living in this fugue state where it was like, yeah. oh, you know, dad, dad says that they're still alive and we have to so feed them. And we have to do this. And, and they all kind of went along with it and they all fucking woke yeah. up, you know, yeah. and I, it's and funny. that was a line. That there, uh, where you're saying they we feed him and all that, that line in the bar. I've been feeding her rotting corpse for months. Yeah, yeah. He's disgusted yeah. with himself. Or he's disgusted because he, he's, he realized that, in so many ways, you know, um, the episode before when Shane obviously is the one that flips out and opens the bar door. Yeah. You know, I yeah. love that scene. That scene too, when Shane is popping his wife in the chest a million times and saying, "Could could a could a or person, Luke. you know." Uh, yeah, that was great. That was actually pretty fucking you know, great. Could a person yeah. uh, take a shot? And that's her heart. That's what this. This is this. You know, those are her lungs. Yeah, and and that was yeah, that was. I gotta I back mean, and watch that again, man. That is yeah, pretty oh, fucking dude, dope, it was, man. That you was know, I would love to. Dope. That's one of my favorites too. And I, obviously, being so close with Jesse, I have so many more, and I'm still narrowing down my own choices. I have a couple to get, to get to, um, and we'll do mine eventually. Um, for my favorite. Uh, but yeah, definitely the episode before this is one of my favorite scenes. Ultimately, of the whole show is when when Sophia walks out of that barn and yeah, you know, I remember it, watching that man. Yeah, we were uh, all just dude, like, I was you like, because you didn't really my think wife, that like, that was the way ridiculous. it was gonna, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah, and then this little girl pops out. That was out. that was just insane. That was yeah. just insane. Well, yeah. um, anything else, guys? Yes, was there any 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 closing things you want to talk to put in for this episode? Uh, for this episode, absolutely not. I think we uh, succinctly recapped it. Um, and, yeah, just an amazing overall episode for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Good one. Well, seeing it's the end of the episode, uh, um, we uh, we have something a little special for you guys. Uh, this episode was actually brought to you by Comic Blitz. Um, and if you don't know what Comic Blitz is, Jesse, you want to tell them what Comic Blitz is? Uh, so Comic Blitz is an online comic service in which you can get your pretty much near endless comic supply of over 4,500 comics and graphic novels for only $7.99 a month uh, for Unlimited. Now, you can get a cheaper package at $3.99 a month for 10 comic issues a month. However, 
we have a special deal for you that uh, you get three months for a dollar a month, totaling out to three dollars a month if you use the coupon code Third Person Pod. A buck a month. What do you think? A buck a month. And (laughs) they have a ton of content there, such as uh, Transformers vs. G.I. Joe, Star Trek, and many other sorts of comics. They have James Bond. They have um, Dungeons and Dragons, if you're into that. All sorts of stuff for you to check out. Yeah. So, yeah, guys. So Definitely go and check that out. So, check that out. It's promo code third person pod. Get yourself a a, a subscription. So, your first three months for a dollar a month. So, for three bucks, you get three months free. Well, three months for three bucks. You can check out all the comics, see if you like the service, um, and definitely check them out. So, uh, absolutely. And you can get either package the 10 or the 799. Of course, go for the 799. Uh, and it's on iOS, yeah. laptops, desktops, and soon to be Androids. That's right. So it's all digital for you, right there, right at your hand, your fingertips. Um, get yourself, uh, you know, get it, get your binge on and, and read all those. So thank you to Comic Blitz for sponsoring this episode. Um, and that's gonna do it for us, guys. Uh, thank you once again to everyone um, who did our, who you know, uh, messed around with our giveaway and congratulations to those winners again. And uh, thank you everyone for watching and, and subscribing and supporting. And uh, channels growing, and, and we just we're, we're really excited to be doing this, and uh, we're Absolutely. gonna bring you guys gonna bring you guys more stuff. Um, we're we're still very early in the year, and we got some really good shows coming up for you, include you know uh, um, not just including The Walking Dead, but a bunch of other shows that we're gonna be bringing you guys. Uh, so hopefully you guys are getting a whole lot of well. shows, a whole lot of shows. So we're gonna be very busy for you guys. Um, so I think that's it, guys. Right? Anything else? No. Nope. Uh, does right. for me. We're gonna call it a night. Thank you very much, guys. We love you guys, and uh, we see you on the next video. So peace out. Peace out.